first and foremost, thank you so much for taking some time and, and talking to us. And you made, you know, you made some headlines uh, in national publications when you decided to change your party, your party affiliation, which is a big deal. You ran as a Republican for governor not too long ago, and, and here you are um, leaving the party. Can you tell me what what inspired that specifically, or if there was anything specifically, and and how you came to make that decision? Well, I didn't take the I didn't make the decision lightly. You know, Dan, I've been a Republican for almost 45 years, uh, and uh, it was really a series of events in January which turned the tide for me. You know, first uh, President Trump's uh, questioning of the election and strong arming uh, even elected Republican officials to overturn the election. Uh, then the attack on the Capitol incited by Trump and a lot of his. Uh, senior advisors, and really the final straw was the Oregon Republican Party resolution, which called those Republicans who voted their conscience, uh, you know, for holding President Trump uh, responsible traitors, uh, and he endorsed really uh, wacky conspiracy theories. Uh, so that was really the final straw. And after you know thinking about it for a day or so, I made that hard decision to to change my registration to non-affiliated. So for somebody who is a recognizable name within the Republican Party in Oregon, instead of leaving the party, why not try to fix it? Why not to try to change some of the things that you think are, are going wrong within the party at this point? Yeah, well, I've tried that for the last six or seven years. I've put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into try and make the Oregon Republican Party uh, a bigger tent, uh, a party which could... Uh, attract enough people to elect uh, uh, good Republicans to statewide office. And we did make initially good progress with regards to those goals. But the results uh, and the, uh, uh, the uh, occurrences over the last several weeks uh, have just turned the tide. Uh, you're not going to win in Oregon uh, spouting conspiracy theories in, in wacky uh, 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 things like the uh, QAnon uh, folks uh, have out there. It's just not something that's going to win elections in, in Oregon. And most importantly, I don't think it upholds the principles of uh, what I think uh, Republicans uh, stand for, freedom, uh, the rule of law, you know, defending our Constitution, creating opportunity for people. That's what we should be talking about, not wacky conspiracy theories. So based on that line of thinking, would you say that the Republican Party is not you know, as a whole, there are 700,000 registered Republicans. There are plenty of Republicans serving in our uh, state legislature right now. Are you saying that the Republican Party is not what what it used to be or what you think it, it, it stands for or should stand for? Look, I don't know what uh, the Republican Party stands for anymore. That's one of the, the problems. Uh, it's become almost a, a cult of uh, personality. Uh, is it possible to recorrect? Absolutely. And I think there's a lot of potential for the Republican Party, uh, both nationally and in Oregon, uh, and in Oregon, if they get it right. But that's returning to core principles of, of freedom, of rule of law, of creating opportunities uh, for people, uh, a market solutions to problems and not focused on on uh, wacky conspiracy theories like they have been lately. Some of the kind of the experts and pundits and things that people we have spoken to have said that making statements against, you know, harsh statements against, for instance, the statements, uh, the referendum that was put out by the executive committee the other day is dangerous for uh, for Republicans in this state looking to be reelected or looking to run for for office. That is there this belief, do you think, that that you have to either outwardly state that you support? these types of beliefs or kind of ignore them in order to be elected as a Republican? Our internet, my internet connection is faulty there. I'm not hearing yeah, the no, question. I'll, let me ask it again. So some of the, the experts and the pundits who we were speaking to have said that the party is truly divided and that there is a, a, a fraction of people who do still believe that the election was stolen, uh, that they still believe that President Trump won by a landslide, or that the th people who stormed the Capitol were dressed up as Trump supporters, and it was truly a false flag operation held by Antifa or some other 
left wing or anarchist organization. Do you believe it's possible to run as a Republican nowadays without and dispel those theories and still be successful in the party? Or do you have to either ascribe to them or ignore them in order to be a Republican in Oregon? Well, I think for all too long, uh, those types of conspiracy theory believers have been uh, tolerated uh, in the Oregon Republican Party and uh, have not been uh, you know, dealt with effectively. You know, th those are just falsehoods. They're not true. Uh, you know, the QAnon conspiracy theories are not based on, on fact. Now, should they be addressed and looked into and and uh, and and actually, you know, talked to talked about? Absolutely, uh, shouldn't be a, ignored. But it's also the type of uh, uh, message that is not going to attract the uh, number of voters that it takes to win elections in the state of Oregon right now. So what are you, um, what are you hearing from other people who heard you did what you did and you, and, you, and you left the Republican Party? Are you hearing from other Republicans who are either considering the same or have taken that same leap? Well, I think there's a lot of Republican office holders that are uh, relieved, <laughs> relieved that there is someone who is speaking out about the nonsense, about the the wackiness uh, about uh, that there should be no uh, place in the Republican Party for conspiracy theorists, uh, that the Republican Party should be people who are focused on solving real problems for people who are suffering, suffering mightily in the state of Oregon right now, uh, suffering with uh, unemployment, with the challenges of, of COVID, with not having their kids in school. Those are the types of things that they want to be talking about. But and you're not they're happy that there's someone out front, you know, uh, bringing attention to those issues and, and not the conspiracy theories. But you're not in the Republican Party anymore, are you? So you're not really a, a Republican standing up for those things. You've said, I'm out. I'm, a, I'm an independent now. Yeah, but I, th I think there, there is a relief that there is a voice uh, of reason out there that's saying that there are Republicans who believe in solving the big problems and that all Republicans... Uh, I don't believe in this kind of conspiracy theory uh, that has been peddled recently by the, the Oregon Republican Party. So do you consider yourself like a pseudo Republican still? Are you kind of uh, a still Repo a Republican at heart? I don't know what uh, a Republican means in anymore in, in this environment, other than uh, belief in a cult of personality. Uh, I believe in the principles that uh, made the Republican Party strong over the last three decades. Uh, and, and that's really what I stand for. And that's what I've, I've always stood for, uh, you know, throughout my uh, involvement in Oregon politics. Have you got any pushback from Republicans who are disappointed that you left? I think there, there's certainly an element. Of, there's also an element there that are uh, Republicans that are gr glad that I left also. So I think it's a uh, balanced uh, both ways. Uh, uh, so, you know, it's, uh, I've never believed in a blind loyalty, a blind, I don't believe in blind loyalty to uh, uh, a, a party or uh, a person like President Trump. Uh, I'm an independent minded person and I uh, stand on my principles. Are you concerned about the future for the Republican Party considering some of the rhetoric we're hearing from, you know, high ranking uh, party members that, that the executive committee specifically with the referendum claiming the false flag allegations? Yeah, more importantly, I'm concerned about the future of our nation. Uh, look, I, I think both parties have not governed well for the last few decades, and we need to get our stuff together. There's a lot of people who are suffering, suffering mightily from the sweeping changes in our society, and it's taken them right off their feet. And uh, to President Trump, Credit, he has recognized that. Uh, now, unfortunately, he wasn't able to help those people, but we've got to focus our attention on taking care of a, of a lot of folks who are having a really tough time right now. And we haven't done that either as Republicans or Democrats for way too long. Do you believe that the we could see a, a split in the party? I, absolutely. I think you could see a split, not only Republican Party, but also the Democratic Party. You know, there is the same... Uh, fault lines uh, in the Democratic Party between more extreme elements uh, and uh, more moderate. Uh, you know, this is a very dynamic time in our political system, and it should be. You know, there's there's uh, serious changes uh, going through our society, and that's a time when uh, political parties uh, uh, rise and fall. And I think we're in the midst of one of those right now. What do you see for your political future? Anything in public office? 
So look, my my political involvement, I've always seen as a term of service, not a political uh, career. Uh, I'm an orthopedic surgeon by training. I feel it's important to serve and give back to uh, our community. I've done that for six years, and now that uh, that uh, term of service has come to an end. I'll help other candidates, be, be them Republicans, Democrats, or independents, candidates that have good ideas. We really want to solve uh, big problems. But for me personally, uh, I have no desire to run for office again. You know, Kay Brown can't rerun. That, that's what I hear. Yes. No, uh, no, I, no, no, no second, no all, second swing, no second swing at the governorship. Yeah, no second swing at the uh, governorship. That's for sure. All right. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Yeah.